Hey guys, and welcome back to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today, I'm going to show you how to make easy and delicious French toast. You know, French toast is one of those things, doesn't need to be complicated, uh, doesn't need any fancy ingredients. You know, sometimes it's better just to keep things simple, and French toast is one of those things. So without further ado, let's get this recipe started. All right, first thing, obviously, I'm going to need a batter for my bread. So on a pie plate here, I'm just going to crack in two large eggs and do better than I did and try not to get shells in your eggs. Uh, no one likes crunchy bits on their French toast. I'm just going to crack those two eggs into a pie plate and using a fork, I'm just going to break these up a little bit before I add the rest of the ingredients. Uh, the reason I'm using a pie plate here is for when I go to coat my bread, it's just easier to do it in a wide, shallow bowl. Uh, to my eggs, I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of milk. You could also use cream or half and half if you're feeling decadent. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of granulated sugar, as well as an eighth of a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, just a pinch of salt, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon or so, and just a quick splash of vanilla. Uh, try and use real vanilla extract though. And using a fork, I'm just going to whisk these ingredients together. Uh, just make sure that all the eggs are completely smooth. Uh, the milk kind of helps break up those eggs. You don't want any globules of egg on your French toast. You want a smooth batter, so uh, just whisk that well. And let me just talk about bread for a minute here. I am using Texas toast. Uh, Texas toast is just regular sandwich bread, but it is actually kit cut thicker than regular sandwich bread. Um, it's kind of a dry bread, crummy bread. Uh, and these particular slices are about three quarters of an inch thick. And that's exactly what you want. You want a thick bread for this. Uh, and I'm just using this regular sandwich bread. You could use brioche if you wanted to, or French bread, you know, whatever kind of bread that you like. I just happen to like just plain old sandwich bread. It just it makes the best French toast to me. Now I've got a frying pan over medium high heat here. Um, it's actually between medium and medium high. I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of vegetable oil, as well as just a little pat of butter. Now, the reason I add both vegetable oil and butter is because I like the flavor of frying in butter. As well, butter kind of has a natural non-stick property to it. Uh, but the vegetable oil raises the burning point of the butter so the butter doesn't burn. Because uh, you definitely don't want burned butter on your French toast. Well, maybe you do, but I don't. So that's why I do both. And you want to make sure that your butter and oil are hot before you add in your first piece of French toast. Otherwise, your French toast is going to stick, and you don't want it to stick. And you know when it's ready, when the uh, solids, the milk solids in the butter start to brown. I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but they're just starting to turn golden. That is the exact time that your pan is ready for your French toast. So what I'm going to do is just kind of mix up my French toast, my batter mixture a little bit here. Make sure that the cinnamon isn't, you know, sinking to the bottom. Uh, and duck your bread just really quickly. On one side, flip it over, uh, get it coated on the other side, let it drip a little bit, and then add that to your pan. Now, a lot of recipes for French toast call for you to soak the bread. I do not like soaked bread for French toast. Maybe you do, I don't. Uh, I like my French toast to not be custardy. I like it to still be bread in the center. So I just do a light coat on both sides, and I'm just gonna let this go for a couple minutes until it gets nice and golden brown on the bottom. Don't be tempted to move your bread around, you know, just let the pan do its work, let the heat do its work. You know when you're getting ready to flip when the bubbles around the outside get a little smaller and they don't pop so aggressively. So go ahead and take a peek, make sure that it is nice and golden brown, and then you can go ahead and flip it over and cook it on the other side. Again, just cook it for a minute or two, uh, just until those bubbles around the outside kind of simmer down. And then you can go ahead and remove that off to the plate. Add just a little bit more butter and vegetable oil to your pan between each slice and continue frying up the rest of your French toast. Uh, and this mixture using two eggs will do, uh, for me personally, six pieces of Texas toast, which is just perfect for me and my roommate. So yeah, just go ahead and keep French toasting all of your bread pieces. And then you can go ahead and pour some delicious maple syrup right over top. If you're feeling extra decadent, dust the top with a little bit of powdered sugar if you'd like. Uh, you can serve these with fried eggs and bacon on the side, or if you want, um, just like a little bowl of fresh fruit would be delicious. But yeah, like I said, sometimes it's better just to keep things simple, and French toast is one of those things. So 
Go ahead and give this recipe a try. If you do and you like it, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more deliciousness, and keep up to date on all my latest videos. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time.